Hello everyone, welcome back to another video where t t today we will not be destroying ships or wrecking the AI, but today we will be exploring the map a little bit as well as um, uh, testing out the, 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 the battleship we spawn in as well as all of its uh, ships and its hangars. I figured that sounds pretty nice and also I found out how to put 10 put 10k into our upgrade budget and that sounds pretty nice to me uh please like and subscribe for more content like this i i do try and post original content about stuff people don't typically post about uh, such as deep space battle simulator but um yeah um please like and subscribe Oh wait, so a <laughs> light fighter, uh, a uh, reasonable speed and speed and agility paired with good weaponry makes the spacecraft a good all-rounder. It's good. I wouldn't uh, use it all the time for a simple fact that if if I'm gonna take stuff out, I want to take it out quick, not have to have time built into it. And then there is the Stealth Fighter, um, and this ship has a cloaking device that recharges when uncloaked. It gets completely invisible when cloaked, um, and can't be spotted by enemy turrets, but can't fire until uncloaked again. It's good if you're trying to infiltrate a enemy base, a a a actual person's enemy base, not the AI. So, uh, I don't use it all the time, but I might have two slots dedicated to it. And then there is the bomber. Now, it's not a rocket fighter. As far as I know, it drops bombs, and the and the enemy has to fly into them f for it to work. It says, um, uh, this ship comes with 12 mines that can be deployed on the battlefield and deal great damage to everything that comes too close. And then there is the Interceptor. Uh, apart from the rather bad engines, this, this is spacecraft is excellent and should be able to come out on top in dogfights, but its slow speed makes it hard to close the distance to the enemy capital ship. It's good for probably leaving your ship to, uh, to go and kill enemy interceptors, or to kill a incoming torpedo, or another, uh, or another um, enemy fighter. But other than that, it's not really something I would I uh, typically use. And then there's the light interceptor, and this one's personally my favorite for the simple fact. Um, that the description speaks for itself. This spacecraft features excellent agility, speed, and weaponry. Unfortunately, there wasn't enough space left for a shield generator, so it relies on piloting skills to survive long enough to, to, to deal damage. It doesn't have a shield, but does have 50 HP. And some little glitch I've noticed um, with uh, Deep Space is that if you land your ship and then take off in it again, it resets it, its health. And, and it kind of, and, um, and 50 health is a lot in deep space, so it seems pretty reasonable. And then lastly, there's the two military shuttles. Acceptable speed and agility, but horrible fire rate. At least it's so cheap and small that we can fit two in one hangar slot. Not much to say about this, really. It's not something I w would use all the time, really. It's not something I, w w w I, I, w w I, w I would even use to infiltrate the the enemy ship. I would just use the civilian ship if I wanted to infiltrate it, and 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 I will get to that later. But but um but um but um without further ado, let's go ahead and get uh. Ion engines, shield generator, laser crystals. Let's get a couple of B1s up in here. Three, and then let's get one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five. That's enough to t cover everything in the ship. Let's get one Barsk. Let's get titanium hull, titanium bridge hull, optimized reactor core. A 
there's absolutely nothing else I want to buy, really. Let's just get a laser overload. Let's go ahead and get a couple of interceptors. Let's just refill. Let's just completely go all out and then get one more heal drone. And yeah. Let's go ahead and get the shotgun. Not like it's going to matter, really, but... It's a lot better than nothing. Okay. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and leave the life support energy. Now, I'm, I think I'm going to use it on just its non-normal stuff. Pika's not, not, um, not, not everyone pours its energy into the engine. I know from my past videos, you can probably know too, that, um, I, I just go in and, and lay down fire on it. But if I hit E, it turns right. If I hit Q, it turns left. And then if I do J, it barrel rolls, I guess, um, uh, uh, left. And then if I hit L, it barrel rolls right. And then if I left click, it will auto rotate to the enemy ship. So uh, let's say I hit E and turn to the right. Then I can auto rotate, and then I can get out of the ship, and then it just instantaneously aligns with the ship. See, it's good for maybe having a super laser or something, but besides that, it's not really something I I would want to have all the time. And then next is I and K, and then I goes up, and K goes down. There's not much to say about it, but. I wonder what happens if we fly, like, into orbit around here. Nope, don't want to really get into cahoots with you, buddy. Um. Yeah, I... So, we know here is, like, a Saturn-like thing. So, let's just go right next to it. Let's go ahead and add heal drones. And then let's watch them go out because it is satisfying in my eyes to Enemy well, watch them. Launched. There we go. Now if we get hit, we're probably going to be fine if we just fly away. So uh, here is the Saturn-like planet here, and then if we try not to die by flying next to this guy's ship, let's use those JNL as we talked about before to straighten out, and then that's the thing from the main menu. I wonder if I can go up to that. I don't know, but let's figure it out. We might be able to do it. Um, I'm surprised they haven't killed our heal drones yet. They're pretty much expendable. Oh, our right hull's getting blasted. Just now occurred to me. Because I don't have shields. Okay, the fire is coming off here a little bit. That's always nice. Enemy attack pod launched. Okay, so next let's go ahead and get. Let's face towards the ship because that attack pod is coming. Okay, let's go ahead and sound the alarms. Intruder alert. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and go down. And let's 
let's go... Wait, I think it's down here is the first place. Not the hydroponics, but the first hangar. I should be the good all-rounder. Yes, okay. The light fighter. Now, it, it does have a steady a fire rate and a good agility. Enemy torpedo launch. As you can see here, it has a steady fire rate and... Yeah. And this is what I was talking about, the civilian shuttle. It's in the back. I didn't even notice it until my like second game. And it has no guns. It has 30 HP. And it can't shoot at all. It just flies. And that's what I would compare the military shuttles to. And there's the stealth fighter. And now, as you c can see down in the semi-bottom right corner, you have to wait for the cloak to charge up. But besides that, it doesn't have good accuracy. Or it doesn't have good f a fire rate, but it does have a fire rate at least. And here, let's cloak. And then, see, it says in the bottom below the cloak amount that we're draining cloak and that we're cloaked. So, yeah. And then there is enemy torpedo launch. And let's go down here to the interceptor. Now it does it does have a good higher it, it, it does have a good fire rate, I guess. And I think this is the one that uh, that said it would come out on top in dog fights or something and it's it doesn't quite have good agility as you can see it just f flies and it's not really that good at turning and stuff it's not something i'm i'm uh, super fond of but and there's the bomber yes now as you can see we can do F to plant a bomb. Oh, well, then there we go. Apparently, a plant's above us or something. So let's go and... But yeah, uh, that's the bomber. That's not really a good, uh, a good intro to the bomber, but I'm not sure what to say after that. It's still Hangar 1, right? Yeah, it's still Hangar 1. This is Hangar 2. Yeah, there's not much I can say about that, really, besides that I don't care for the bomber. And that there's not really a whole lot of use to it. Okay. Uh, let's race down here where I think there's two of the r r regular ones at. Yeah. Well, let's go down here to this hangar, and then that should wrap it up. Let's go over here, not the uh, not the military shells, the light interceptor, as you will see me in all my videos. I love this. You, you do have to sacrifice a little bit uh, of a fire a fire rate from the from the interceptor of the um, light interceptor, but you do get so much more better agility, uh, better health, so. I'd say that's a win-win in my books. And then there's the military shuttle. Not much to say about that. Terrible fire rate, terrible damage. Um, basically used for carrying cargo or something, I guess. Fighter launched. But yeah. Um. So. Um, yeah, uh, uh, that is all of the, uh, the agility and upgrade, and, and upgrades of the, 
of the battleship as well as all of the ships in Deep Space Battle Simulator. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all next video. Bye bye